my children had grown up and I had some spare time and felt that I wanted to do something that would be interesting. My wife was uh, a, a live-in carer, so we had people living with us. So I became a floating support um, carer. Um, initially, uh, I had a sister with um, a learning disability. So I was, you know, I grew up with um, somebody that needed a lot of support and, um, you know, uh, was very aware from a young age, you know, how important it was to give the support. I became a shared lives carer because I used to foster a young lad and when he turned 18, I was asked to keep his consistency up for respite. So I then became a shared lives carer so I could keep him for another few years. I was aware of shared lives through my work at Sequel. I'm a community coach and I work with people taking them out into the community and introducing them to different activities, that sort of thing. And um, the opportunity arose um, after my mother died, I inherited her house. So I thought, well, I could use the house to provide a home for people that need to develop independent living skills. As I sort of went into management roles, I came away from actually supporting people directly. And I missed that. I missed the, um, the opportunity to actually work one to one with a person and, and to actually sort of help them to um, achieve things. So I we found out about shared lives and thought, well, yeah, let's give that a try. Well, what I really enjoy is seeing people develop and grow. I like the challenging bit of it and the rewards. I like working for shared lives because you get lots of support and they're really friendly. <laughs> Seeing people develop, um, you know, learning new skills, becoming independent. What I like most is the variety. You never know from one day to the next what's going to happen, really. Um, it's a privilege to become part of people's lives. And every person that you support is different. One of the, one of the nicest things about it is when things go right. I mean, you know, looking after young people is not an easy thing especially the type of young people that we look after and have done in the past. And you'll get a breakthrough with one person and you think, oh my God, that makes it all worthwhile. That is absolutely fantastic. I like the, um, the freedom of being able to sort of support people and those people becoming part of my family so that we could do all the fun things such as um, cinema, you know, whatever that person's interests are. Maybe they want to go shopping or, or, or even go to the beach. I think that, that for me, that's a really enjoyable part because you see the enjoyment in someone's face and you think, gosh, I've achieved that today. I've helped make that person happy and helped them realise something. And the challenging side of it, I would say a lot of these um, adults have got no retention. So you're kind of going over and over the same thing a lot and kind of, it can become a bit wearing. But the support is massive, as I said, but it's varied and it very much tailored to your needs at, at a, any particular time. I mean, our link worker, can I call her a link worker, is fantastic. She is so reactive. I mean, she's proactive as well, but when we need her to be reactive, she is so reactive and so fast. We get things done so absolutely brilliantly. And any problem we do encounter, we find an answer very quickly, even if she doesn't have the answer or we don't know the answer. She, between us, we will, we will find a, a resolution to any problem we encounter. The challenges have been very, very different. One of the people that I support uh, writes quite regularly to the Prime Minister and um, phones the 999 services. So we have to support him through his anxieties and things like that. Um, another gentleman has had a baby. Uh, so there's been lots and lots of different challenges along the way, but the support I've had has been second to none. And the team that I work with, I always thank regularly because they've given their own time to support me when it's been out of office hours. And I've always felt that there's been somebody there at the end of the, t end of the phone to support me. And they can be very challenging. People can have, you know, personal events in their lives and when we have to go and intervene um, and I've been very glad of the support of shared lives officers in those circumstances um, the support is very good you know you're not on your own when these things happen um, 
which is a good thing because sometimes they can be very difficult to deal with. One of the most challenging things is if someone's behaviour escalates and so um, this could either be because they're unwell or they're not happy about something or um, they're going through a brief period of maybe um, a bit of a sort of mental illness relapse even and I think once when that happens whereas before I, I would be doing like a nine to five job and I would be able to leave that at, at my workplace my, my home now becomes my workplace and so that is ever present and so that person's mood or, or how they're um, acting or interacting with us um, can affect the rest of the family and you've got to sort of try and balance that out um, you know and, and so you can't just sort of like think right that's it I've, I'm, I'm going to go and take a day off or, or take a holiday you have to be able to manage that and to support that person through that period and sometimes you know that can be quite challenging because that person's displaying behaviors that can be quite you know possibly destructive or, or, or you know very dis disruptive to your home life and I think you you know you, you have to sort of like take a almost um, yourself out of it but you're still in that environment if that makes sense you have to sort of like come away from it and, and be very calm and, and very, you know, patient, but know that that's still going on and that could go on into the evening. There is, you know, there's not that sort of re respite from it where you might get with an ordinary sort of job. You know, I always found through shared lives that if I did have a problem or I did need some support or somebody to talk things through or some guidance, that there was always somebody on the end of the phone.